Somalia was incredibly challenging, largely because the government and the state of the country totally collapsed. And what happened was there are about six major clans in Somalia, and with the collapse of the central government, these clans basically set up armed militia and warlords and took over different regions of the country. So you had no functioning ministries, you had no formal government, you had no court system. The entire apparatus of government simply disappeared almost overnight. The president at that time, Barre, was forced to leave the country and it took Somalia until 2012 before they were able again to have an elected government. So Trokra faced a situation of complete chaos. Never, ever in the developing world have we ever had to work under those kinds of circumstances where literally there was nothing. And we made a decision to go to the province of Gedo, partly because it was the poorest province in Somalia, but also because many of the people in the cities who um, had lost their jobs, who were public service workers, who had worked in the private sector, or worked in the markets, had lost all of their livelihoods and had fled back to where their grandparents had come from in the hope of finding um, some means of survival. We went on to build a very significant aid relief program in the province of Gedo, and Trokra has been working in Somalia ever since, helping to rebuild livelihoods and to bring hope to a country that had been forgotten about and abandoned by the international community. What I found incredibly affecting in my time in Somalia was the extraordinary resilience of the people and also the warmth uh, of the women in particular who had very difficult lives, almost no participation, no decision-making power, either within their homes or within their communities. And yet they worked alongside us, showing that the spirit of women of Somalia is something that really will lift that country out of its ashes.